Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how easily and quickly you can install this new Zephyr 7 billion alpha model locally on your Windows system. This Zephyr alpha is a Mistral fine tune that achieves results similar to Chat Llama 70 billion in multiple benchmarks and above results in empty benchmarks. The average performance across Arc Hella Swag, MMLU, and Truthful QA is around 66 compared to Chat Llama 70B 66.8. Mistral Open Orca is around 66.8, whereas this model also competes very nicely even with Mistral 7 billion. This really makes this Zephyr a very good model for its size. One really cool thing about this model is that not really all of these matrices are impressive, but also how the training was done. The researchers did standard fine tuning on the ultra chat dataset, which is uh, comprised of 200k subset of dialogues focusing on the ones that are helpful. Then they aligned the model using direct preference optimization or DPO, which is an alternative to PPO that removes the need for a reward model. Another thing which is very uh, fascinating about this direct preference optimization or DPO is that it was much more stable. They got result in hours which were taking days with PPO. For DPO, they used ultra feedback which has 64 prompts and completions for many tasks. So this is great. They also used TRL and Deep Speed 0, 3 for all experiments. The total compute cost for this model was 8 hours on 16A100 GPUs or around $500. Yes, that's it. And then they evaluated an empty bench from LMCs as it has multi ton conversation, which other performance leaderboards lack. So amazing, and I'm more than sure that this will be improving as the days are progressing. Okay, so now let me show you how you can locally install it. As I've been doing with my other models, the tool I'm going to use to locally install it on my laptop without any GPU is called as LM Studio. In order to use it, all you need to do is to click on download LM Studio for Windows and it is around 400 meg. Then once it is downloaded, click on it to open the file and this will open this exe file on your local Windows machine. Then on the home page, just type Zephyr and this will give you the quantized version from Hugging Face. I'm selecting the blocks quantized version. On the right hand side, you can select from different files. I normally go with quantized 5KS. And then in order to download it, all you need to do is to click on this download button. Click here. And then you can see that it has on the bottom section that it has started downloading it. The file size is around 500 uh, or 5 gig. So let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long. You can see that model is almost downloaded. Let's wait for it to finish downloading it. Model is finished downloading. You can see that it is finished. Now on the left hand side, click on this um, chat icon with the three dots. And then on the top middle, select the model to load. Model is not available yet. Let's Go back and see. Let's wait for it to finish downloading. Maybe let's check. Go back there in the search icon here on the folder icon, but we don't see any model here. So it means that this model is not, it might not be compatible with this, which is fine. Let's go back here again. Try one more time. This model is not available anymore. That is fine. So let's go back, search again. And this time, maybe let's try out with another version. Let's try out with this read on. It says might not work. So let's leave it. And it says required 30 GB of RAM. Let's try out, uh, but it is quite big. So maybe, yeah, let's try out with this one then. Again, maybe we will go with another file. Let's go with the 7 billion Q4. Let's try try out this one then. Let's click on download. 
let's wait for this download to finish so this is one of the issues with it that you can't be 100 percent sure beforehand that if it would work or not when it is saying possibly supported if it is 100 percent sure then you would see supported here and then we can run it but in this case we have to unfortunately uh, hidden trial because of the quantized versions and if the GGUF file is compatible and these things are changing every day but last time when I tried it it was working but today it is not so maybe when you will try it will work or maybe it, it won't so keep trying and see how it works so let's it's almost done the speed is good let's wait for it to finish okay so the model has finished downloading now let's go back to our chat section and then now on the middle top middle click here oh wow so we even have our other one appearing too so that is fine let's go with uh, the q51 which qas 5 gig one let's select it and let the model load to our laptop so there are two steps to it once you download it and then you load it locally so that's loaded without any error this is awesome now let's ask get few prompts in the bottom uh, middle what is the capital of australia let me ask it and how it goes and then there are a lot of uh, inference parameters and stuff on the right hand side which you can change but let's go with the default one for now and uh, processing speed and the time latency of response would depend upon the system you are using so if you see on the top left it is showing you your resource consumption i don't have any gpu with a simple laptop so that is by the delay now let's see if it is able to do the right answer yes i think it is yep it has guessed it correctly or um, determined it correctly that the capital of australia, australia is canberra awesome Let's stop generating. Let's give it another prompt. So I'm asking it, what is the cost of renovating a bathroom in Australia? This is a bit of a uh, thinking question. So let's see if it is able to decipher from the data it has. And, um, okay, so it is unable to do that. Anyway, no worries. Specific pricing, okay, because it's the latest data maybe. And we would need to find you in the model to get that in the domain. Okay, no worries. I'll just stop generating and then let's give it another a reasoning prompt. Now, if you look at this prompt, what is happening is I'm asking it in one year, yellow paint fades and becomes a white color. In my house, in one room, one wall is yellow and rest of walls are white. Should I paint that yellow wall as white now or wait for one year so that it fades into white? So it should be very interesting and the inspiration for this question comes from Jeff Hinton who is the godfather of AI and who is really worried that LLMs are getting more and more intelligent day by day and their time will come and they will surpass humans in intelligence and might take over but let's see anyway so let's see what reasoning this Zephyr does in this case Okay, so when I tried this prompt with simple Mistral 7B, it was able to give me a very, very fine answer. And I have another video where you can search on my channel, uh, which I just did today. So in this case, it is also uh, giving me a reasonable answer, but I was expecting it instead of referring me to consult with a professional, it will reason and give me the answer. Maybe I would need to change the prompt a bit so that I would ask him to become a professional printer. Okay, maybe I will stop generating and I will ask it that you are a professional painter. Let's see what happens now. Let's see if it assumes the role of a professional painter or not. It has started generating the answer and there is a latency in response because of my system so let's wait for it to finish it has produced the answer and it is quite diplomatic and very clever you can see that what model is trying to do here it is not only trying to give me the answer as best as 
it could but at the same time it is trying to save its back so it is telling me that you know um, first it would need to discuss the specifics of the fading color type of paint surface of ball and all that stuff and then it is saying that if the yellow color is not desired in that room or if there are other reasons to repaint then it might be worth painting but if i want to wait due to the cost or convenience then waiting may be a better option so it is giving me uh, both options with pros and cons and it's not making any recommendation which is amazing so it's very diplomatic um, very very clever and intelligent i would say so this is it um, i hope that you also enjoyed it and if you want to run this as a local inference server all you need to do is to go onto the left hand side and then start this server it will start listing on this port 1234 and then you can use simple restful apis to access this model so this is how simple it is to use this Zephyr Alpha locally on your Windows laptop or anywhere in the cloud. And if you have a beefy system, you can create a local inference server out of it. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.